Thank you. So, friends, please consider those references there in 1 Corinthians. Uh, our question is this. What are some factors that may affect whether a brother wears a beard? I might break the 30-second rule. But we had uh, Brother Hartle out, and he, we know he works in the um, writing department back at Bethel, and so I took the opportunity to ask him this, this question and uh, the results, and I asked him if there was anybody back at Bethel wearing a beard, and he said, absolutely not. In fact, he said, and I wanted to quote this so nobody takes this out of context, that this paragraph in the Watchtower only reiterated the faithful slave's position on this subject that it has had for many, many years. Nothing has changed in the United States. And then he also mentioned Brother Lett's comment that kind of clarified that uh, in the, um, the well, monthly broadcast. And he said, why would a brother or a spiritual man do something that might stumble someone or detract from giving glory to Jehovah? And so we've, we've seen some brothers growing beards in, the, in this area, in our local California area, and right now, Brothers will not be used on a circuit assembly stage if they have a beard. Brothers have lost privileges in the LDC for growing a beard and not wanting to shave it off. And so right now, nothing has changed. The custom in this country is not dictated by wearing a beard or not. There is a country that he mentioned, I can't remember the name. He real quickly brought that country out and said, yes, in that country, their custom, their culture does allow for wearing a beard, but it has not changed anything in this country. Thank you. 